Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dwarves. A wacky funnel game with some, uh, with the Dwarven flavor. As I mentioned, I'm also partially playing this for my wife, who uh, really loves the little bastards. It's good that uh, I found water in the second cave I cracked open. Because this means that I have enough goodies to be getting on with things. Thank you. Right, let's see what let's see what's in this cave. Oh, it's a single goblin. That's slowing me down. Let's uh, crack this one open, shall we? Just in case. Just need a little of the fluff removed here. Only at 14, which is not very close. Oh, hey, that's useful. Turn that on. And I think that'll just spawn a dwarf whenever... I'm not exactly sure how it works. Brings him in a warrior. 50 per dwarf, okay. 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 More treasure, good. Can you dig this way and see what we can get here? start blocking this up just in case nothing good you love to see it in fact <laughs> meanwhile this guy's just digging everywhere but the precious ores and minerals Okay, cool. Can you go there? Oh, that guy's doomed. Yeah, those guys are dead. Pretty sure. 
But we'll have them. We'll have this one train some dudes. And this as well. Maybe it's even fortuitous to leave some dudes alive. Uh, leave some shamans alive. Nice. Uh, because then we'll get more uh, things to kill. Oh, this is taking money to train. Wow, that's really far away. Okay, I was wondering what all my uh, money woes were. One moment. Sorry about that, my friend texted me. As I record this, it's actually uh, 4th of July weekend. Not that, like, I'm, you know, properly celebrating it, but... Can you get there, please? Well, we've hit 84. Oh, we need more money for that. Okay. I'll turn that off. Actually, I don't even know if more of these is the way to go. Might just want to click that on. You know, maybe maybe that's what you got to do. I'm aware of the outpost being under attack, fellas. Look at that. Great work. Oh man, I still have time to go as well. Damn. That was just straight up fun. I like that. You know, it's obviously less engrossing than a a dwarf fortress again, but like, oh my god, it's so much easier. Even Rimworld is, uh, like, more palatable to me. Survive for one minute. The previous but I hope you've gotten you because in this challenge, to complete the challenge, you need to only save good luck. Should I just watch him go? Why would you... real treasure good you can just hit M for menu of course makes sense Also, I'm aware that you can get tile sets for Dwarf Fortress, but like, man, other games come with the ability to look at what you're playing by default. And I've got to say, like, maybe I've got high standards, but that's kind of a thing with me. Uh, I wear glasses. These aren't for the fashion of it, although I do look sexy in them. It is for my health. I do have issues seeing things. Um, oh god. Oh god. 
It's fine by me, Dan. Ugh, fucking. All right. Uh, oh, that's all of them. So what are the bonus sandbox? Oh, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna do all of these. This is very much a um <clears throat> pardon me. This is very much a classic Steam indie game where it's got like this kind of dorky art style. T hardcore. I'll do normal. Let's do 15. Dwarves is more about managing think lemmings rather than dwarf craft. Do the thing and if you're when you must. Only thing that matters is your score. Dying is okay. Okay. Why did it give me the option to say yes or no if it wouldn't let me click no? Treasure. Okay. Oh, really? Hopefully, ain't gonna be nothing. But those are there in case I need them to be. Yeah, like, this, this is just like the picture of 2000s indie games, you know? Just head down there for a sec, thank you. Luckily for these little dwarven lemmings, the hand of God is smushing this dirt. Alright, locked away. beef those guys the hell up. Just nothing but buddies and pals. 
Okay, so they've made a hole there. A dwarf can't even fend off a simple spy deer. Can you go there? Thank you. Alright, let's see what you got. Or not. I guess uh, you gave up. Of course, there could be loads of goodies in there, but uh, I wouldn't know. Can you actually... Thank you. So what's a good score here, do you think? I guess I shouldn't even ask or think about it, because, like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm playing an indie game that was made about ten years ago. The, the best score in this game has already been made. And I'm probably not going to top that. Oh no. Oh man, why couldn't you go to the left? Well, uh, hmm. Okay, that's fine. I think it's over. There's no real way to build up a really big, uh, a really big, like, wall or anything. Diggy Kong. <laughs> so is that, like, a, an achievement, or is it, like, a real achievement? Okay. This game does, in fact, have Steam achievements. I noticed that that didn't pop anything, but that's okay. Why would you walk into it, fam? Yeah, I guess I just really wish that Dwarf Fortress was easier to play. Oops, that's not right. Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna, like, wait on this now. Because, like, I've got a good score. But I, uh, I've lost the ability to do anything about this. I'm aware Lava has been released, guys. Lava has been released. How about you get some of that, huh? Uh, 
Oh, here it comes. The simple tile graphics are actually pretty solid. I wonder how they built this game. I survived almost nine minutes. <laughs> around Wow, you can just fucking go, huh? That's huge. All right, I'm going to see what else is in here. Ah, I need more. Of course. <laughs> Toho reference there. Alright, let's see the bonus modes. Snad box, huh? I guess those are max level warriors, huh? And those are max level diggers? No, those must be. The pile bunkers? That's radical. So I can just whoop. I think if you go too far, the cable just collapse on you. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, and I can put more on un underneath it. See, that's... The, the fluid physics in this game are kind of bullshit. How does lava just grow infinitely? Bosses, settings. Oh, generate minerals is off. So now I can put gold in here? Maybe. Whatever. That's interesting that lava will block water and vice versa. Alright, well. Oh, I just hit exit the whole damn game. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like it's not that this is a particularly like deep or engrossing game with like a lot of plot, but like it's goofy and it's fun, and you know what? I had time. I had some things that I uh, had to do. All right.
Like, if I have the if I have the ability to just do this, right? For God's sakes. Then what's to prevent me from making like a huge spiral that goes all the way out here? I guess money. Stone tower. How do I start it? I suppose I should have read that, huh? Okay, you just gotta dig to it. I mean, yeah, it's a tower defense game. This definitely is the vibe of someone who is like just goofing around and they built a they built a like They built an engine and it worked. Oh god. Why are you doing this? Nope, main menu. Let's not make that mistake again. But yeah, it's like, it's like rush mode. We'll do that one next time. Axe throwing, hold on. Well, this is kind of a departure. Like, does this even use the same engine? It doesn't have the same art style. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is very much the vibe of like a uh, indie game of the early like tens. Just like, well, we made it. We made an engine. It does it does things. So we're gonna use it for all the things that we can. But you know what? I'm having I'm having a good goofy time with this dumbass game. Yagaverse.com. Wow. Oh, Lord. Anyway, next time I'll probably do something else. I don't know what, though. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Dwarves. Uh, if you like the vibe of this dumb-looking puzzle game, I recommend you buy it. It's not like it's bad.